Hi everyone, this is Cassandra, Soldier for Christ Rose. How's everyone doing today? Happy, happy Saturday. How's everyone doing today on this Saturday afternoon? It's about 4.10 New Orleans time. How's everyone doing today? Is everyone still being encouraged? We got to be encouraged. We got to be encouraged. It does not matter what's going on in the world today. We got to stay encouraged, God's people. We got to stay encouraged. How's everyone? Is everyone still keeping the faith? Are we not giving up? We can't give up, God's people. It is what it is. God does what he wants to do when he wants to do it. Am I right about it? You just got to keep the faith and don't give up. Today, we are in the book of Ecclesiastes. Yes, indeed. I think this book of the Bible is what we need in these trying times am i right about it these trying times and i want to start with ecclesiastes chapter three let's see we're probably going to go down to verse 13 starting with verse one to everything there is a season yes indeed and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Yes, indeed. Verse 2 states, a time to be born, a time to die, and a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Verse 3 states, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up. Verse 4. A time to weep. And a time to laugh. A time to mourn. And a time to dance. Verse 5. A time to cast away stones. And a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace. And a time to refrain from embracing. Yes, indeed. Verse 6. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. Verse 7. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. Yes, indeed. Let me read that one again. A time to rend, a time to sow. A time to keep silent and a time to speak. Verse 8, a time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Yes, indeed. This is God's word. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Yes, indeed. Verse 9. What profit hath he that worketh in that wherein he laboreth? Verse 10. I have seen the travail which God hath given to the son, sons of men to be exercised in it. Verse 11. He hath made everything beautiful. In his time. Also, he have set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. Yes, indeed. 12. I know that there is no good in them. But for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life. 
verse 13, and also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of God. 14, I know that whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And God doeth it, that men should fear before him. Yes, indeed. That's verse 14. It states, I know that whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And God doeth it, that men should fear before him. God is trying to get our attention, God's people. It says it right here in Ecclesiastes. God is trying to get our attention. And whatever God does, nothing can be taken from it. We have to understand that God does what he wants to do when he wants to do it. And I really think that God is trying to get our attention. God wants us to put him first in our lives. He wants us to fear him. And God's people, we don't fear God. We just think God is the average Joe Blow. God is not the average Joe Blow. He is the creator. He is the creator of all. He is the creator. And I don't think we fear God. We just put God on the back burner and we just only pray when things are going bad. We supposed to pray at all times. We seek God when stuff going on. We have to seek God all the time. It does not matter what's going on. We have to seek God all the time. Not when things are going bad. We're not supposed to pray when things are going bad. We're supposed to pray when it's all good. God does not work like that. Whatever God does, it's a purpose behind it. His word says so. It's a purpose behind it. Yes, indeed. I want to encourage God's people to not to give up. Seek God's face. And what I mean by seek his face, be in his word. We got to be in his word. We're not in his word enough. We're always on Facebook and IG. We have to seek God in our secret place, in our closet. We have to acknowledge that God is who he say he is. And that's what's wrong with the world today. We seeking everybody else but God. And God is saying, do they know who I am? I'm the Alpha and the Omega. I'm the beginning, the end, the first and the last. Do they really actually know that? Some of us don't. Some of us don't. Some of us, we don't even acknowledge that there is a God. And there is a God. Yes, indeed he is. He's alive and well, God's people. He is alive and well. So you all have a good day in Jesus' name and always keep God first. Don't put God on the back burner. He can never be second. God can never be second. God has to be first.